Good morning everyone. Today's video is one of my favorites to film. I've actually done two of these but basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving you guys a bookshelf tour. I actually own three bookshelves so there's going to be a lot of books. I think the last time I counted I had around 375 ish books maybe so like close to 400 books on my three shelves and a few other places. So I'm basically just going to show you all the books I own. I have my reading journal here right now so I can go ahead and tell you guys all the books that I currently don't have. They're lent out to people. Um, that way I'm including all the books I own. We're missing a total of seven books. Those books are Verity by Colleen Hoover. I have two Ice Planet Barbarian books that I'm missing. I'm missing Notes on Heartbreak by Annie Lord. I'm missing Know My Name by Chanel Miller. Midnight Sun by Stephanie. Stephanie Meyer and then Sex in the Heartland by Beth Bailey. So those are all the books I'm missing. So looks like I'm missing three non-fictions, four fiction books, I think. I don't know. Those should be all the books I'm missing. If I leave anything out, I'll go ahead and insert that now. But I'm pretty sure that's updated. I actually just filmed a reorganizing my bookshelves video if you guys want to watch that, how I got it to look how it does now. Again, this is always changing. It's going to continue changing all the time. We're going to start with my first bookshelf that I'm seated in front of because this is my smallest bookshelf. To be confused with the bookshelf that doesn't have the most books on it because it still has a lot of books on it. Um, someone actually asked in my reorganizing my bookshelf why I have double stacks like books behind books that's because I have no room they have to be on there I want them on my shelf so they just have to go behind so this bookshelf is fantasy Greek mythology classics is that it I'm pretty sure that's it so we're just gonna go ahead and hop into the video my battery's dying so I'm gonna go change that okay yeah let's just go ahead and hop in I'm probably not going to talk about these books since I have like almost 400 so Without further ado, let's hop into it. First few books I have here are the Percy Jackson um, series. This is just the first five books in the series. Well, that's the entire Percy Jackson series, but I know a lot of people count like uh, the Olympus series. I don't, I don't even remember. I said I wasn't going to talk, but here I am talking. So I have that. I have the first book in the Maze Runner, the Hunger Games trilogy. I'm just now realizing that this is actually upside down. So I have the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I'm so excited that the movie's coming out this year. Like that's insane. Light Lark, and then I have the entire Shatter Me series. Then I have the Six of the Shadow and Bone trilogy, along with the Six of Crows duology. So behind here, I'm honestly not going to pull them out because they're all like Tetris Tetrisy back here but what I have is I have the Red Queen series here so I have I have the Red Queen series here so I have the first like or the main four books and then I have the Cruel Crown which is I think it's composed of two stories and I also have the Broken Throne which I I'm pretty sure it includes the two stories that are in The Cruel Crown, but it also gives you like other little novellas. Here I have The Book of Lies, which was just a fantasy young adult that I was given when I was a kid. And then back here, as you can see, I have the Divergent series, and I also have the A Touch of Darkness, the first three books. I think there's a total of four. I don't even know if the fourth one has been published, but I have the first three, and then, like I said, Divergent. On this side, I have the four published books of the From Blood and Ash series. I also have the King of Elfheim book, which goes with the Cruel Prince trilogy. I guess it's called the Folk of the Air series. Going through my bookshelves, you may see some books are turned around and that's because I haven't read them yet. I tried to do this with most of my physical TBR that way I know which books I need to read um, but yeah that just is a little explanation on that. I have the entire Twilight series. I have the four books in the series. I have Midnight Sun like I said that usually goes here. I have Life and Death, The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner and then I also have the Illustrated Guide which I am so grateful for that book. That's I, that was the last book that I hadn't owned and now I own it, which I'm super excited about. Then I have my little Sarah J Moss like collection here. I have the Court of Thorns and Roses series and then a Court of Silver Flames down here. I have the two books that are published for the Crescent City series. And then here is a little bit of my Greek mythology. I have Circe and the Song of Achilles by Madeline M Miller. And then I have Arya Dean by Jennifer something, I'm pretty sure. And then behind here, I also have Altered, and I kept it with my vampire books because it's fitting. I actually have the Throne of Glass series in a box set, and that's just behind my Sarah J Moss books because obviously that makes sense. 
Then I have the Cool Print series as well right here. Really need to go buy the, oh, I forget what it's called now, the Air, the book about oak. I really need to go watch, or I really need to go buy that. With, like I said, the Cool Prints, I also have Lore, um, which is by Alexandria Bracken, I think. And then I also have Stephanie Meyer's other book, The Host. Now we're down here. I do have my dog, Vincent, with me, if you can't hear him. These are all my classics. And here, as you can tell, these are something I'm really proud of. These are classics that are done in the Twilight style. So we have Sense and Sensibility, Emma, Pride and Prejudice, Persuasion, Jane Eyre, Wuthering Heights, Midsummer's Night Dream, Romeo and Juliet, and The Scarlet Letter. Then I have To Kill a Mockingbird, Walt Whitman's Leaves of Grass, Little Women, Clotel, Narrative Life of Arthur Gordon Pym, Collection of Charlotte Perkins Gilman's Works, The Picture of Dorian Gray, Walden, The Color Purple, Love, The Intuitionist, 100 Years of Solitude, 1984, The Lighthouse, Carmilla, The Great Gatsby. I have a second copy of Pride and Prejudice. I have a portrait of the artist as a young man. Said the Dubervilles, Aguero Sisters, Collective Poems of Emily Dickinson, The Woman in White, Song of Solomon, The Coquette. Last book on the shelf is The Captivity of the Oatman Girls. Now for this shelf, this is my ladder shelf. This was actually the second bookshelf I ever owned. And not to be biased, but this probably is my most favorite bookshelf, the one I cherish the most. It's it's my favorite style of bookshelf and the genre on this is also my favorite which is romance. I'm just gonna start at the very top. I didn't show you guys what was on my other bookshelf but it it doesn't matter. We'll just show you what's on this one. I have this I don't even know banana pant plant I'm pretty sure it's from Target. I have a brownie and a film camera and I have She Inspires which is a table book and then I have two Emily Stone books which I think those are actually the only Emily Stone books that are published and that is Always in December and One Last Gift. And the last little thing is this was actually a Christmas gift. It's a little cardinal. You can see that. It wasn't really focusing but this is a little paperweight that my grandma me. These hippo Amazon lights, I'm pretty sure. Friend Allison got these for me for my 19th birthday, and I think they're so cute. I love them. They're pink hippos. Let's get into the books. I kind of just put all my books on here. I don't know if there's like any real organization, but essentially what I have here is All I Want for Christmas by Maggie Knox, Love in the Time of Serial Killers by Alicia Thompson, Once Upon a December by Amy E. Reichardt, just Like Magic by Sarah Hogel, The Summer of Broken Rules by K.L. Walther, Good Girl Complex by L. Kennedy, Tools of Engagement by Tessa Bailey, Funny You Should Ask, Red, White, and Royal Blue, and One Last Stop by Casey McQuiston. I have The Two Lives of Lydia Bird and then One Day in December, both by Josie Silver. I have The No Show and The Flat Share, both by Bl Beth O'Leary. I have The Roughest Draft by Emily and Austin, and then I have The Cheat Sheet by Sarah Adams. So basically these are just all my paperbacks and I tried to do them in some sort of color order but as you can see I have a I actually have a lot of pinks that's kind of crazy. Anyways here I have Home Sweet Christmas by Susan Mallory, Meet Me Under the Mistletoe by Jenny Bayliss, then I have The Spanish Love Deception and the American Roommate Experiment by Elena Armas, and then I have the Brown Sister Trilogy, so we have Get a Life, Chloe Brown, Take a Hint, Danny Brown, and Actor Age, Eve Brown. Then I have Sally Rooney's two romance novels, The Haney Game and Second First Impressions. I have Every Summer After by Carly Fortune, You Deserve Each Other by Sarah Hogel, and then How to Love Your Neighbor by Sophie Sullivan. It is the third shelf, and as you can see, I have my romances that are hardcovers, and then more of like either their series or the authors are the same. So starting down here, I have The Holiday Swap by Maggie Knox, Rock the Boat by Beck Dory Stein, The Soulmate Equation by Christina Lauren. I have The Kiss Quotient, The Bride's Test, and The Heart Principle, which is a series by Helen Wong. Then I have The Love Hypothesis by Allie Hazelwood, The Dating Plan by Sarah Desai, the X-Hex by Aaron Sterling, and then I have Cleopatra and Frankenstein by Coco Mellers. Here I have four books written by Hannah Ornstein, and those are Playing With Matches, Head Over Heels, Love at First Like, Meant to Be Mine. And then I have two more Christina Lauren books, Love in Other Words, and then The Unhoneymooners. And then we get into some of my series. I have The Fine Print and Terms and Conditions, which is the Dreamland Billionaire series. And then I have the Simple Wild series, so it's the Simple Wild, Wild at Heart, Forever Wild, and then Running Wild. Here I have two of the Bromance Book Club picks, and that's the Bromance Book Club, and then A Very Merry Bromance. I have two hippos on here. 
If you can't tell, those are my favorite animals. This shelf is more my YA and just extra books that I didn't really know where to put. So down here I have The Betrothed and The Betrayed by Kiara Cass and I also have the Selection series by Kiara Cass. And so if you didn't know, the first three is a trilogy and then these two are about her daughter. And then Happily Ever After includes novellas surrounding the characters in um, the first trilogy. And I can't remember if it includes stuff from this, but doesn't matter. Then I have the Summer I Turn Pretty trilogy. I have All the Bright Places and Holding Up the Universe, which are both by Jennifer Niven. Then I have the If I Stay duology, Looking for Alaska, Just Friends, and My Life Next Door. And then up here I have Every Breath by Nicholas Sparks and then Julia Quinn's The Duke and I. Over here um, I have Five Feet Apart and then, oh gosh, as you can see I have a lot of turnaround books here. This trilogy up here is the Me Before You trilogy, three books by Ewan Hel Hildebrand. I have Golden Girl, Barefoot, and The Perfect Couple. This book is All the Time by the same authors of Five Feet Apart. We're at the last shelf, which is like my dark romances, kind of, I guess. The first five books I have here is After, After We Collided, After We Fell, After Ever Happy, and then Before. I have the entire Fifty Shades of Grey series, so I have the first three, which are the original three, which is told by Anastasia, and then these three are the first three books, but told from Christian Grey's point of view. Up here, I know you can barely see it, but this is the Deal series, or the Off Campus series by L. Kennedy. And then I have Den of Vipers, my three Penelope Douglas books are Credence, Birthday Girl, and Punk 57. Then I have two Barbarian Alien books. And then these three books is the Breathless Trilogy by Maya Banks, or Maya Banks. And over here, before we hit my last bookshelf, I have my Taylor Jenkins Reid collection. So I have Malibu Rising, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, Maybe in Another Life, One True Loves, and then Daisy Jones and the Six, along with my Emily Henry, so Beach Read, People We Meet on Vacation, and Book Lovers. And then I have um, Jeanette McCurdy's memoir, I'm Glad My Mom Died. Four poetry books on my nightstand. So I have Homebody, The Sun and Her Flowers, Milk and Honey, and then Lana Del Rey's um, Violet Bent Backwards Over the Grass. Okay, this is my last and final bookshelf. This is from Target. I didn't say, but the the second and the third bookshelves are from Target, and then the first one is from Walmart. Up top here, we actually have a vase that my sister Gracie made me. We have a candle, the volcano candle. I have an empty bottle of Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs, and then I have my collection of Sally Rooney books. So I have Normal People, The Scripts, Beautiful World, Where Are You, Conversation with Friends. I have Mr. Salary up here, and then I have two copies of Normal People. One of them is a UK cover, and then the other one is the US cover. On the shelf, this is solely dedicated to Colleen Hoover. I think I have almost all of her books. The only one missing should be Verity because my friend is spiraling it. Um, but yeah, I have the Slam series, the... Oh. I have the Hopeless series, I have the Maybe Someday series, I have Regretting You, It Ends With Us and It Starts With Us, Ugly Love, Reminders of Him Without Merit, Heart Bones, November 9, Confess, and then Layla, and then I have Taylor Swift's version of Red, and then I have two more hippos that I actually got in the UK, which are really cool. I got them at the British Museum. The third shelf on this is kind of like my contemporary fiction or... Yeah, just my literary fiction slash contemporary fiction. I have Fearless Taylor's version, of course, on here. I have Eileen and then My Year of Rest and Rea Relaxation by Otissa Moschef. I actually don't know if that's how you pronounce her name. But My Dark Vanessa, My Lover's Lover, Sex and Rage, and L.A. Woman by Eve Babbitts. To tell what else I have in here, I know I have Bunny right here. But then Her Hands by Otessa Moschef. Ghosts by Dolly Alterton. Bunny, like I said. Milk Fed Without Women, which is a collection of short stories. They will be different. Fiona and Jane, Necessary Lies, Seven Days in June, The Other Black Girl, A Little Hope, Night Library, The Hate You Give, Firefly Lane, Writers and Lovers, Speak, Diary of an Oxygen Thief, They Both Die at the End, Little Fires Everywhere, Somebody Loves You, The Vanishing Half, Such a Fun Age, Call Me By Your Name, and then Find Me, and Suicides, and then A Certain Hunger. And then this shelf is kind of fun because it's my mystery slash thriller, and I actually put Evermore because I thought that was kind of, it's fitting. So starting over here, I have The Maidens, The Cartographers, 56 Days, The Woman in the Window, The Golden Couple, Where the Crawdads Sing, and then I have, I believe, six? Yeah, I have six of the Pretty Little Liars series. Here I have A Little Life that should go on this shelf, but it fits right there 
And then right here I have two of the books from the Good Girl's Guide to Murder and then I have two of the books from the Inheritance Games because I'm waiting for the third of each in paperback. I have The Raft, I have The Room, The Silent Patient, You by Caroline Ketnes, Build Your House Around My Body, Gone Girl, American Psycho, The Wife Between Us, The Wife Upstairs, The Last Mrs. Parrish, Four Lisa Jewell novels, The Family Upstairs, Invisible Girl, Watching You, Then She Was Gone. Then I have The Atlas Six, the self-published version. The Southern, oh gosh, what's it called? The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires. And the last book on there is called The Body on the Bed. Okay, the last and final shelf, I'm just going to hold the camera because I think this is easier. This is my non-fiction shelf. If you can't tell, this one has a lot. This is actually my current read, but I went ahead and put it on the shelf to just show you guys the books I have. Jesus Over Everything by Lisa Whittle. This is more of my religious non-fiction book. So we have four devotionals down here, which is Savor, Embrace, Seem Beautiful Again, and Strong. And then I have more of like just literature written um, from Christian folks. So I have The Chase, Brave, Love Does, and Everybody Always. I have Live Fearless, Live, Who Are You Following, Girl Wash Your Face, Girl Stop Apologizing, Didn't See This Coming. This is another little devotion called Life is Blank 40 Day Experience. I have The Hand of God, Gay Awareness, Gospel 101, Get Out of Your Head, and then Captivating. And then I also have a little book in here that says, Is God Anti-Gay? I mean, these are more just regular nonfiction books. We have two feminist books by Bell Hooks. We have Feminism is for Everybody and then All About Love, Women Don't Owe You Pretty, The Body Keeps the Score, Everything I Know About Love, 13 Things Mentally Strong Women Don't Do. This is actually a little book journal. Then down here, I have She Said, Three Women, Atomic Habits, My Body, I Will Teach You to Be Rich. We have Game Changing Moves, Season Freedom, Being Human, The Heartbreak Work of Staggering Genius, 101 Essays That Will Change the Way You Think, The Emotional Entrepreneur, Recipes for Disaster, Disability Visibility, Grass or Braiding Sweetgrass Into the Wild, The Spirit Catches You and You Fall Down, The Glass Castle, The Man, The University and Student Protest, and then the last book, the last book on my shelf is Say the Cat Writes a Novel. Okay guys, that is my completed bookshelf tour updated for 2023. I'm gonna probably do one of these in July. I think I did that last year. I did one in January and then I did one halfway throughout the year. Hopefully you guys enjoyed um, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Peace and love, bye guys.